What's up everyone, hope you're well, it's Drew Shaw here. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about my training program at the moment, uh, but mainly I want to focus on the topic of your programming and how you can sort of optimise it to best suit you and to obviously make the best gains possible. So my training program at the moment, um, some of you know, I've just finished my first week of my lean bulk phase, but my typical, my main sort of focus in this phase is to um, build strength and a byproduct of that is um, obviously going to be size as well. So I'm doing a 12 week um, strength cycle at the moment. Um, I sort of just want to take it back to my roots. As, as some of you know, I used to be a power lifter. I'll show you some clips now. Um, but I got pretty strong at the age of 18. I was um, squatting 200 kilos, benched 150. My deadlift was about 240 kilos. Um, so the year after my powerlifting meet, I stopped deadlifting as that was sort of um, ruining my back a little bit. And I built my squat up to 205 kilos, and this was natural as well, just to put that in there. So I squatted 205 kilos, and I built my bench up to 160, touch and go as well. So I got pretty strong, but then after that, I was sort of um, getting injured a lot, So and I wanted to focus on developing my physique. So I spent a year, the previous year, sort of building my physique, and sort of I forgot about strengthening really. So I wanted to go back to that, as I've always been naturally strong, so I want to build on that again. Um, my first week of um, strength training has gone pretty well. Um, squatted 160, two sets of five. Benched 120 for five reps. Actually, no, I've got 125 for five reps. So yeah, it's it's going well basically. But um, yeah, my main focus on this program um, develop my bench and my squat again, but also develop parts of my physique such as my um, my back, particularly my lats and my traps, and also um, I want to develop my triceps and my shoulders as well. So that's also going to be a main focus. So I'm hitting squats and bench three times a week. I'm hitting those other areas as well three times a week to try and really bring those out on my physique. But what I want to talk about today is um, how you can sort of design a program to best suit you and obviously to optimize gains as well. So the main thing that you need to understand with programming is, especially what we get taught as SNC coaches at uni, is a bad program done well is better than a good program done badly. So what I mean by that is you could have the best program out there, you know, optimize lean muscle mass and muscle protein synthesis and all that. But if you're not doing the program properly, say if your if your technique's bad and you know you're not doing full range of motion, etc., etc., then the chances are going to get yourself injured by doing that program, and you're probably going to end up worse than what you were when you started the program. So always remember the key points of the program. Um, obviously, complete complete the exercises with good form, and just and obviously take time off when you need it because your body needs to adapt and recover otherwise you're just going to get injured etc etc so um the first point i want to talk about when designing the program is what your main goal is so what what you want the outcome of the program to be so say for example a 16 week program if you want you know the outcome to be um, you want to be the strongest guy in the gym so obviously a part of that program you might break it down into a muscle hypertrophy phase and then build from that uh, as a strength phase so you're gonna have to break it down into different sort of meso cycles and micro cycles um, typically we look at the macro goal we look at the end goal of the program to be the macro macro part of the program and we break it down into different periods so we call that periodization um, with periodization, uh, you've got sort of three main parts of that. So the typical um, part of periodization, which you've probably heard of, is linear, linear periodization. So that'll be the standard um, progression, standard form of progression where you sort of um, your intensity goes up each week, and your um, volume will mostly drop. And when we when we talk about periodization, we um, we mainly relate this to athletes. So the reason we use periodization is to sort of um, to peak for a competition, to maximise gains and sort of uh, reduce chances of injuries as well. So what periodization is, it's just a, it's basically just a program with systematic uh, variations which include changing your specificity, your intensity and your volume, okay? So when we look at the typical athlete for example, if we want to peak them for a competition then what we're going to, what um, linear progression is going to do is um, the intensity is going to raise up like that and the volume is going to drop and also the technique Will hopefully will improve as well so that's the standard form of progression which is mostly used for um, you know, beginner athletes and a lot of other athletes as well uh, who just want to make sort of um, steady progress the second form of um, 
periodization that we have is um, undulating periodization and this can be daily or weekly so what that means is basically you're, you're peaking and you're dropping and you're peaking and you're dropping but um, so what we focus on there is say if you're doing a daily undulating periodization um, form or method then you can do sort of you know Monday will be your strength phase Tuesday will be your hypertrophy phase so each day your you know the volume and intensity is changing so for example Monday in your strength phase your intensity will be really high but your volume will be low and then on your second session your intensity will be low but your volume will be high so you're sort of switching around to get the best of both worlds and um, undulating periodization has been proven to um, be really good for strength gains and also whilst also gaining um, size as well so that might be something to consider but this is more for the advanced athletes um, and then you've got the third form, which is um, conjug the conjugate method. And this was, um, I think this was designed by v v Yuri, Professor Yuri Verzhinovsky. And you can look him up, I'll link him below, but he's, he's just a genius within the field. Um, he designed this method, and this is really for the top end athlete, so you don't need to worry about that unless you are competing at a really high level. But this method, um, is, this has been proven to develop, like be really good for developing strength and whilst also keeping your body weight low or to a minimal so this method's usually better for you know um, athletes competing within the weight class so say weightlifters for example who um, it was mainly designed for but basically with this form of um, periodization you've got um, you've got an accumulation phase and a restitution phase now within the, uh, the accumulation phase you've got two you've got two goals Within the uh, within the um, program, so that would be strength and your motor unit um, and your motor unit control. So that's going to be your sort of technique sort of um, model. So with the um, so with the accumulation phase, you're focusing on your building your strength, but also improving on your um, motor unit control. Whereas the restitution phase is mainly focusing on the motor unit control and st strength as a byproduct. Okay, so they're switching around, but it, it's, it's quite complicated. It goes into a depth a lot more than that. I'll link a couple of articles below, but that's gonna be for the higher end athletes. So typically what you're gonna look at with the bodybuilding is we're gonna go back to the linear progression. But as I said before, the, with a, a standard athlete, you want the intensity to raise and volume to drop. Um, as that you know you want you want you want them to perform maxi when it comes to a competition but my target audience who I'm speaking to now um, I'm guessing most of you are going to be bodybuilders so with that form of progression unless you're um, you know you're doing a powerlifting meet or something like that if you are prepping for say a good physique then that's um, the volume and intensity are going to be switched around so obviously um, your calorie intake is going to be a big deter um determined factor of what your um, of what your performance is going to be so if you are competing um, to be stage ready for example then if we look back at the intensity going up and the volume going down then that's going to switch so your volume is going to go up and your intensity is going to go down because obviously we get we get to the end stages of our cut and our calories can be low and we're not going to have enough energy to perform at maximal intensity okay so typically if we are um, prepping for a cut then that's going to switch around for minimal minimal um, intensity and high volume just to get the work rate in and see some progress from that. So that's the video guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do um, create programs myself, so if that's something you're interested in, um, give me a message um, at shawfitnesshotmail.co.uk um, or just direct message me on Instagram or Facebook, I'll link those below as well. But um, just a quick video today. If you want to know more about the topic, then just let me know. Um, I'll talk a bit more about it. I hope you enjoyed it guys. I'll see you on the next video. Take steady.